Well, today I parged or plastered this whole wall, which is on top of a roof on an old factory. And this is what it looked like before I started. And what I did was I just did one coat, no stucco, no plaster, just get it done. I'm going to show you how I did it. Well, today we are going to patch up this wall. And what's going to happen is they're putting a new roof on. And all that stuff is falling down right here. And all we got to do is plaster it up. So when they put the new roof on, you could cut a lane right through and go right in. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, get rid of all the loose stuff like a dentist and go from there. I'm going to get rid of all the loose stuff mm -hmm. just like a dentist. Paint rope, we're not going to fix it. Just the loose stuff first. Good. And then, we're just going to brush this off like this. All that stuff out of there. That's it. Not going to make no big deal out of it. So I'm using this Quick Creek Mason Mix Type S. Fiberglass from the concrete company in there. Water in. That's it. Oh, come on. You don't have to mix them. I'm not now. They go on at like nine. So first I wet it. You gotta wet everything first. Fill this with water and you wet it. Clean it up in there. As you can see, this is the fiberglass that's inside there. You can see the little hairs on the end. That holds that cement better for a job like this. Good. Put in there. Stuff on their side. Put stuff on their side. Put their side. Yeah. Put in there. Put the cement. Throw it in there. Put the cement. Throw it in there. Get some big broken pieces of brock. Throw it in there. Throw it in there. Yeah. Throw it in there. Anything that works. So what I'm doing is I'm filling in all the the deep spaces first. And let them set. I'm showing you what's going on. There was a big crowd up here. I couldn't really talk, but uh, I'm just getting all the big spots first. All the big spots, because then I gotta go over it again. See all the big spots. I use my uh, old school bonding agent. I'll talk about that at the end. I'm just filling in all these big spots. That's all. Then this will all be set up, and when I go over it again, it won't leave any expansion. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm plastering the whole wall, parging it, whatever you call it. There's no hose or anything up here, so I'm just using a sprayer. Once I get it all wet like that, then I paint it with paint it with my Portland paint, like this. The whole thing. Paint everything. Can't put enough of it on. Paint everything with it. Old school bonding agent, they call it. Tell you that new stuff, but this is what the old timers did. Once you get it all on there, once you get it all on, you can just get your cement to go right over the top of it. Get your cement to go right over the top. 
top of it. Do the whole thing right when it's wet. That's it. No big deal. sponging it. It's only a factory. I could stucco it if I wanted to make it look better and hide all these sins. But they got to put a new roof up in here. So the only thing you do is you sponge it. Smooth it all out. If I wanted to do it real, real good, then I'd, I'd stucco it. Just got an old sponge from a car seat. Just sponge it. That's all. It's a combat finish job, I call this. Get it done. I'm going to talk about this job a little bit because people ask me, how do I get these jobs? Well, I've been working on and off for these people for 20 years. They buy old factories and they use it for storehouses. And they just want to get it fixed so to put the roof on so it don't leak. They don't want anything fancy, no second coats, just get it done. So when you get a job like that, just like a dentist, I go in, I get everything that's loose. They went and they bought the premix. I told them to get 20 bags of that S premix. <clears throat> the fiberglass, I usually go down the concrete company and I buy the fiberglass. It comes in little bags like that. <clears throat> People that put it in the trucks when they pour the concrete. <clears throat> First thing I do <clears throat> is I fill all the voids. You see me make that Portland paint up. That's old school whitewashing. You got to wet it real good first, wet the wall real good, paint that Portland on, and then put the mortar right over the top of it. Never had a problem, never had a callback. What do you call it? Plastering or painting. All they wanted to do was fix that wall up so it wouldn't leak behind the roof. Uh, I was there at 8 in the morning. Those guys helped me. By 1 o'clock, I was in my truck on the way home. So it was like a five-hour job. So one coat, nothing fancy. Like I said, just get it done. So I hope you understand that because those kind of jobs look a little bit sheeny. It looks like it could do a better job. But that's not what they're paying me for. And when you work for people, you have an understanding. They know what they want. <clears throat> you tell them whether it's correct or not correct. And if it's not correct, you don't take the job. But if you know that that's good enough, then you take the job. So, again, I hope these videos help. Thanks for watching. Until next video.